Hey guys, it's John, and today we are playing The House. This is an early, early flash horror game that I haven't played in almost seven years. You can still play it on Game Shed if you've got Flash installed. <laughs> There's a link to it in the description, and we're gonna check it out. And the reason that we're playing it is because I want to know, is it still scary? I'm guessing not, but you never know. So the other weekend, I played four older games that I hadn't played in a while for my 500k sub celebration, and you guys liked it so much that I decided to make it a weekly series called Still Scary. And there's a playlist link in the description. We're gonna have Still Scary Sundays, which is surprisingly hard to say. Let's go ahead and check this out. Uh, I can't remember pretty much anything, except there's a, a spooky ghost girl that shows up. I don't really consider that a spoiler. Okay, this is a family portrait. You got uh, nine to five, hates his life, office dad. You got young boy with shorts that is carrying a basketball loves athletics, girl, and uh, we got Elvira over here on the right, an all black on beach day. I guess it's not beach day, they got their house in the background, but an idyllic summertime afternoon, perhaps. Let's put it up. This fell in the background, a ball, and when we click on it, we hear in the background, a little baby. Maybe it was just the first time. Right, by the way, right now, we're in the dining room, okay? Can we move to another room? No, we're just here. So what do we do? When we click the ball again, we see a shadow. Hmm. Now when we click on the portrait, there's the baby coo once again. What is this, PT? We gotta click where the baby coos? <laughs> Baby thinks that's funny. <laughs> the portrait broke! It cracked! It cracked around the boy. He's the key. There he is. When we clicked on the ball, he showed up. <laughs> now, this game was everywhere like six or seven years ago. Everybody was playing this. And looking back, it's hard to believe, but I guess it was a simpler time. The ball exploded. It looks like there was blood inside. If you look at the... When we clicked on the portrait again, a beheaded man stumbled in front of us. <laughs> Go to the next room! I guess we've decided that's enough of that shit. Oh my, second room. The bathroom. There's something on the floor. What is it? I can't actually tell what it is. Is it a tin can or something? Something on the mirror? Happy birthday, Mom. We know that you're suffer from illness, but we're sure that you will be fine soon. Love you. Signed, Anonymous. Well, we've narrowed it down to two suspects. <laughs> Who could it have been? Uh... Click on the toilet. You can flush the toilet. Alright. <laughs> oh, they're pills! Oh, it's poison! Not pills. Glossynews.com? Is that what that says? Tablet twice daily. But it's poison. <laughs> I gotta take my poison twice daily. I mean, I would think if it was poisoned, you wouldn't have to take it more than once. But maybe I'm wrong. I love you too, kids. I will not leave you. I promise. I promise. Something tells me she may have left them. Promises don't mean shit to mom. When I clicked on the toilet, a girl appeared outside the window. The bathtub's filling up with blood. When I clicked on the pill bottle, I guess that's what killed her. Look at the note again. Nothing. 
Look at the... We can flush the toilet. The toilet's bleeding. She's outside the window again. Look at the poison. Look at the note. It's blank now. Is it time to move on to the next room? Or have we not had enough yet? She's still outside the window. Click on it. <gasps> She's coming out of the bathtub. Oh my. Go to the next room. I see, we've completed our task here. This is the kitchen. It doesn't look like a kitchen. This is like a locker room. Hey look, there's a creepy doll. Clicking on it does nothing. There's a calendar with March the 5th circled for cancer treatment. Got nothing else going on, huh? That's the only important date in March. Uh... Here's the doll. Thanks. Oh boy, dude. So we just go back and forth between clicking the calendar and the doll? I'm noticing a pattern. We go back and forth between clicking two different objects in each room. <gasps> Oh no! She's closing in for the kill! She's behind us. What was that? St. Martin Scott School. Name, Miss Maria S. Julie. Okay. Ah, uh, it's expired. That's too bad. We can't use it to sneak into the school. So I look at it again. Look at the doll. Look at the calendar. The ID card. The ID card fell. Oh my, edgy. Go to the next room. <laughs> yeah, yeah, nothing I haven't seen before. Next. Okay, let's go to the living room. Which, this looks like an attic. There's a radio here. We can't tune it or anything. This is a serious looking fellow. I guess this is the dad. So it's like... It's like each of the family members get their own room. His is the living room. Self-important bastard. The living room is for the entire family. Okay, clicking on the portrait does nothing. Clicking on the radio does nothing. Oh! Uh-oh. <laughs> we got a creepy soundtrack now. <gasps> his eyes moved. Click on his eyes. Okay. It's the th the house theme song. <gasps> What's in there? Sorry, old... Wait, what? Sorry and goodbye. Huh? I am so lucky to be you, wife. Will always love you. Okay. You're lucky to be this guy's wife? Really? You sure about that? There's a gun. I took the gun. There's nothing... Yeah. Take the... Take the gun. <laughs> Bleeding out the eyes, okay, creepy. I remember that, I remember you shoot the portrait. That's the only thing I remember. <laughs> Go to the next room, okay. We're not done, now we got the corridor. Everyone's favorite part of the house. When the real estate agent's coming to tour. We have a nice long corridor here. Okay, there's a light switch. We've turned the lights on. There's a note. I'm sorry to God for what I have done. I love my family, so I kill all my family. <laughs> it's the only thing I can do to stay together with them forever. Uh, I'm not sure about that. 
I don't even know what, what a counter-argument against that would be. You're wrong? And I shouldn't have to explain why? Once again, we have to go back and forth between the note and the, the light. There's nothing else to do. <gasps> the light's not coming back on. The light, <laughs> the light switch is bleeding. Hey, hey, you're sorry. <gasps> There's blood on the note. There she is. The one that's been stalking us this whole time. <gasps> that's it. That's the house. Oh boy. I remember that being a lot different. Fortunately, the video's not over. So don't click off just yet, because we're going to be playing the sequel. The House 2. All right, here it is. The House 2, still available on Game Shed. Thank the heavens. PG-13, parents strongly cautioned. The legend has it that there is a house in a small town that has been closed and left empty for decades. The house belonged to a wealthy family, but then one day, all family members, father, mother, daughter, and the maid committed suicide. Not the son? Huh. From that time, the neighbors have closed the house for good as they believe that the house where all family committed suicide is cursed. <laughs> Some said that they have heard a woman screaming voice from that house, yet no one dared to enter the house. Are you? Are you dare to enter the house? Let's find out. Skip intro. No, bro, we want to watch it. Let's watch the intro. You can tell that the production quality has gone up. Let's get inside. <laughs> okay, so this is a little bit better than the house. Do we just keep clicking on it until it loosens up? Dude, there's a blood trail going in there. I don't think we want to go inside. You are now inside the house. Oh no, we're back to the room setup. The living room. Okay. Huh. <laughs> hmm. Something's a little off here. One of them looks a little evil. I'm not sure which though. Here's a here's a note. September 19th, 1964. I can feel something strange in this house. I actually feel it since the first day I came to work here as a nursemaid. Oh, they're the nursemaid. I am so afraid of that thing. Should I quit? Yes, you should. That thing? Well, that's not a good attitude to have. We can turn off the lights? No, just kidding, it's broken. Okay. Is there something else we can click besides the note? Can we go up the stairs? The only two things we can click are the portrait and the note. Okay, there's footsteps upstairs. So if it's, if it's like the first house game, you just click on stuff until things happen. Is the maid still sitting there in that chair? To this day? Huh. I guess we'll just go back and forth until something happens. Uh-oh. It bled on the photo. Can we look at the photo now? Can we look at the photo now? Can we look at anything? We can't click on anything. Okay, you had to click on the light switch. Now whispering has begun. No. Oh my, there she is. She left a new note. Daughter's year of birth. Daughter's year of birth. January 4th, 1965. Sometimes she talked alone. Sometimes she laughed at night. And sometimes she called somebody. Okay. Sounds like fairly normal behavior. Daughter's year of birth. Okay. So there's actually like a puzzle maybe? Okay. 1965. She was still alive there, so that wasn't her year of birth. She's calling people. She's not that young. Uh-oh. The photograph changed. She's not... 
She's not dead? Oh my. It's dark now. Turn on the light switch. Loading! <laughs> Time to move on to the bathroom. My favorite area. Okay, so we can... <laughs> we can look in there. There's a Bible up here. Can't touch the toilet. There's this little, like, splotch of blood by the sink. There's nothing to do. I'm clicking everywhere. Okay. What is, am I, is it not flushing? Like, does a certain amount of time have to pass? I've been clicking on all three of these things interchangeably for minutes now and nothing is happening. And there doesn't appear to be anything else to click on. Oh, you can click on the sink. Okay. Hello? I can turn the sink on and off. Oh, somebody was at the door. Or window. <laughs> I make that mistake sometimes. Okay, so somebody popped up. You just have to click them enough times? Oh no, blood's coming out of the faucet. It's filling up the sink. So it's just like in the first game where blood was filling up the bathtub. I am truly sorry for what I have done to our kid. Please forgive me. They have a name, you know. Which kid? Oh no. Somebody. <gasps> there they are. I hear something in the background. They're still in there. What am I clicking on? Okay. You just gotta click on stuff? Over and over again? What is... What activates the next thing? How do I move on with my life? <laughs> I had to click the note again. Now there's somebody in here. Oh, they're gone. God, this sucks. It's not, it's not like, it's not like the age of the game. It's just, the design. I know it's a flash game, but forgive me. Okay. No problem, man. You're forgiven. Okay. Bye. We're going to the bedroom now. I like the idea that like wherever the character goes, like something spooky happens and they're like, all right. And then they move on to the next room. I've seen all I need to see. Teddy bear. What's this? Music box? I just wind it enough times? Rocking horse? Picture frame? Okay, it's finally playing. You can see it's moving, that's cool. Certificate of Adoption. Nicole A. Maddie was officially adopted on December 24th, 1963, Woodland Orphanage. There's a big old stamp that says, Approved. Nice. So, but when were they born? What was their birthday? I need their birth certificate for some reason. Kind of an intrusive game if you ask me. Oh no. She's after me. Oh, she comes every night. She loves playing hide and seek. She's really good in hiding. I never find her. Dude, maybe you're just bad at it.
play with me? Okay, so what, we gotta find her? Huh, <laughs> look at me expecting actual gameplay. That's funny. I mean, gotcha. You're right here. Oh. Hmm. <laughs> Why is she covering her face? Oh, found ya! It's not a very good hiding spot. Right outside the window. Okay. Cool. The working room? You mean like the office or? What am I clicking on? There we go. Uh. Poison. Again? Authority approved. Nitric acid poison. I'm glad it was met with extensive vetting to make sure that it was poisonous enough to be poison. You know that you're getting quality poison here on authority approved poison. Oh, okay. Birth registration notice. Let's see. Alrena Roosh, born on October 8th, 1947. Huh? She was adopted way after that, though. 1947. October 8th, 1947. I'll try to remember that. If there's any point where I can input some numbers, I'll totally do it. 10-8-47. Oh no! Hmm? Hide in the dark? What? So this completely covers her up. I wonder if she'll be gone. Next time. No? Maybe at some point. Turn it off? Oh wait. Safe room. Key of the safe room. Well I got the key now. So now what? Now we just sit here until the next thing happens, I guess. There, there it goes. It's gone. Just a noose remaining. Oh, there's a thing here. I can't stand to see you suffer like this anymore. Rest in peace, my poor child. Oh, 1224, 1947. Huh, okay. So that's their adoption date. Right? But their birthday... 10-8, 1947. So now what? <gasps> Somebody took it after the seventh time that I clicked on it <laughs> and that's all it took to move on to the next room You just click on stuff enough time. Oh brother the safe room Okay What do we literally just have to put 1947 oh My god We have to remember anything else why? Why I have to die, Mom? I want to live, no matter what. That's all you had in that safe? Seems a little bit overkill. She was climbing out of the safe. Oh, she was in there. <gasps> she has escaped! Okay. What do I do now? Do I just sit here until something happens? There's nothing to click. Click on the safe, nothing happens. Oh.
Okay. Oh, here she comes. Let's see that spooky face. Where is it? I'm trying to click on it. expect Whew. so that was the house and the house too hmm now that I think about it, I mean it has been almost seven years since I played this I think when I was remembering this game I was remembering some other games X Mortis and X Mortis 2 which were also flash horror games but they had actual puzzles in them from what I remember and they also had like a scary little girl so maybe that's what I'm thinking of because this was awful. These are terrible. Like, it drove me crazy having to just click on stuff over and over and over again, being like, oh, if I click the sink 15 times, it advances the situation. <laughs> and then the same things kind of happened in both games. You know, uh, you click on the sink enough times, it fills up with blood. You click on the bathtub enough times, it fills up with blood. It's just a uh, scary ghost girl. Ah, boga boga. At the end, oof, not really much else to say, very empty games. Like, you might be saying, well, of course it sucks, it's a Flash game, but that's not a good argument, because there are plenty of good Flash games, some good Flash horror games, in fact. Like, uh, I really enjoyed the Deep Sleep trilogy, Deep Sleep, Deeper Sleep, and Deepest Sleep. I also, uh, I also liked Ex Mortis and Ex Mortis 2, from what I remember. There are some good ones, you can do it right. It's just, I I mean, maybe this is just a product of its age. Because I think this one's older than most of the ones I just listed. So, I don't know. Just bad. I can't believe it was played on YouTube so pervasively back in the day. That kind of blows my mind now. Like, this is what, this is what was on there for horror Let's Plays. Everybody was playing this. Whew. Alright. Well, we played the house and the house too. And when answering the question, is it still scary? I have to say, no. Well, let me know what you guys thought about the house and the house too. I think it's more interesting to look at these as like, what was uh, going on in the horror game scene six years ago compared to now kind of way, rather than to analyze the game design within a Flash game. But let me know what you guys thought and I'll see you guys on Thursday. Don't forget my upload schedule is Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. I uploaded a whole video explaining that, but a lot of people didn't watch it, so I've decided to reinforce it in the videos. So I'll see you guys on Thursday. Think critically.